Welcome. My guest today is Rob Munn. Good afternoon, Rob. Good afternoon, Stuart. Um, you were a former councillor. That's right. For Leith here. That's right. SNP councillor. Um, you just lost an election. Is it sore? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's a shock, and it's happened to me before under the old first past the post system. So, you know, I'm, I have experienced it before. But, but had you been a councillor when you lost the election yes, before? Yeah, oh, I was right. a councillor for the Leith Harbour Ward between 1996 and 2003. Oh, right. Um, and narrowly lost the seat, which had been narrowly held by the SNP. Mm -hmm. I won it first with a 45 uh, vote majority. And so to, how did you feel? Uh, can you explain why you lost? Uh, well, some of the analysis is still to be to be carried out. It's not been my priority, I'd have to say, since, since the election, as you might imagine. Uh, other, th other more pressing things to do, but uh, I think uh, the SNP decided in the city that we've run two candidates in a number of wards. My ward, um, or the Leith Ward, based on last year's results, was one of our strongest wards in the city. Mm -hmm. So, you know, theoretically it made, it made sense. Um, I think we had as robust and as biased towards me, frankly, um, strategy for, for, for so who's, fighting the, the, the campaign. But the strategy? Um, the local. Well, the local branch in terms of how we uh, ran the local campaign. Um, but the plan to run the decision to have two candidates was that was taken by the local branch. So that, you were party to that decision. Yes, I was party to that decision. So it wasn't so imposed on no, you. No, absolutely no way. Well, well. you can't blame anybody else. Can no, you? no, I have to shoulder some of the blame um, for it myself. Um, you know, one of the things that a lot of people have said is um, that you know, I think the first question that even news asked me was was it the alphabet? Now, it would appear to some extent that yes, there is some truth in, in that. I was further down the ballot paper and there are, are um, generally across the city, if you look at anywhere where two candidates were run by any party, mm. generally the one further down the ballot paper got fewer first pref preference votes. Um, I say that generally, um, actually. So you don't, you can't in any way take it as a personal indictment of your performance over the last few years? No, no, and I think to the messages I've had from right across uh, you know, the Leith Ward uh, from a variety of, of people uh, since the election uh, bear that, you know, bears that out. Uh, but I, I do know from talking to, to, to relatives out in Midlothian that uh, who voted SNP, they had two candidates uh, and they said, mm. I'm not sure whether we voted the right way. They voted for both SNP candidates, but they're not sure whether they were supposed to put the one further down the ballot paper, number one, or the other one, number two. They only got one, I think, uh, uh, elected there. So I think it was a problem across the country mm -hmm. for the party. The party ran a lot of, uh, you know, dual candidates. Um, so is there a lesson uh, that to learn yet, or are you still waiting for the analysis? Yeah, I think that, you know, as I say, I've not made it a priority myself to look at uh, how the transfers went, because that's the other aspect of it, uh, was the, uh, how the transfers came to the, the, the two SNP candidates and how that, how that worked, um, whether there was enough depth in the, in the preferences we were getting. I know in 2007 the SNP did not get an awful lot of, say, third, fourth, fifth uh, preferences. Mm -hmm. um, I think that has changed to some extent, but whether it was enough there are other factors too, like the the opportunity perhaps that the, the drop in the Lib Dem vote gave to the Greens and helped power their campaign. Right. Um, was he surprised? Was it Charles Booth? Well, Ch Charles worked very hard. I mean, I told him off in 2007 for not working hard enough because I thought he could have got in then. Um, so he, he worked very hard. Um, I wouldn't fault any of the tactics he used. I think he did... You know, his pitch on his leaflets was, was exactly, it might have been a bit uncomfortable for me when he had lines on, like, we don't, basically saying we don't need another nationalist councillor. Um, but that's the pitch he should have taken and uh, it worked for him. So, you know, they, they have every reason to be quite happy with their performance, uh, but they only had uh, one candidate to get elected. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Ron. Thank Welcome. you.